Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalanya Engineering College, Kovil Vindi. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion of Kate questions in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 52. The topic is Fluid Dynamics. We will be taking few questions from the topic Fluid Dynamics and we will discuss the answers to the questions. The first question from gate 2010, a smooth pipe of diameter 200 mm carries water. The pressure in the pipe at section S1 at an elevation of 10 meter is 50 kPa. At section S2, elevation is 12, 12 meter and the pressure is 20 kPa, velocity is 2 meters per second. The density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube and acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. Which of the following is true? Flow is from S1 to S2 and the head loss is 0.53 meter. Flow is from S2 to S1 and head loss is 0.53 meter. Flow is, is a, flow, flow is from S1 to S2 and head loss is 1.06 meter. The flow is from S2 to S1 and the head loss is 1.06 meter. So the answer is flow is from S1 to S2 and the head loss is 1.06 meter. So we will see how in the next slide. So here the data, given data. So this is the arrangement. S1 is 20 meter from the datum. P1 is here is 50 kilopascal. Z2 is 12 meter from the datum and P2 is 20 kilopascal here and velocity in the pipeline is 2 meters per second. So applying the Bernoulli's equation using the Bernoulli's equation. So, P1, P1 by rho g, that is specific weight plus V1 square by 2g plus Z2 equal to P2 by specific weight plus V2 square by 2g plus Z1, Z2 plus HL. Substitute the numerical values P1, 50 kilo Pascal, 50,000 divided by W rho into g, 9,800 plus velocity is constant. 2 square by 2 into 9.81 plus z1 equal to 10 plus p2. Here the pressure is 20 kilopascal, 20 into 1000 divided by 9800 plus 2 square by 2 into 9.88, 9.8 plus 12 plus hl. So, left hand side it is 15.306 equal to right hand side the total energy is 14.24 plus hl. So, hl head loss equal to 1.06 meter. So, the energy level, energy at the S1 is 15.306, energy on the S2 is 14.24. So, energy is S1 is higher than energy at S2. So, the flow is direction, flow direction is from S1 to S2. So, S1 to S2 is the flow, flow direction and the head loss is 1.06 meter. That is the answer. Next question from 2011 question paper. The figure shows the schematic for measurement of velocity of air at a dense of density 1.2 kg per meter cube through a constant area duct using a pitot tube and a water tube manometer. The differential head of water density 1000 kg per meter cube in a two column of the manometer is 10 mm as shown in the diagram. Take acceleration due to gravity 9.8 9.8 meter per second square the velocity of the air. So, the four options are given here the correct option is 12.8 meters per second. The velocity is 12.8 meters per second. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, this is the arrangement. Density of air which is flowing through the pipeline is 1.2 kg per meter cube. Density of manometric fluid which is water 1000 kg per meter cube. G 9.8 meter per second square. HW head of water column is 10 millimeter. So, the head of air column. So, the air is the working fluid. So, we have to convert the head into air column. HA equal to HW into rho w by rho a minus 1. So, h w equal to 10 millimeter 0 0.01 into 1000 divided by 1 1.2 minus 1 which is 8.323 meter. Now, velocity of the air equal to v equal to square root of 2 g h a which is square root of 2 into 9.8 into 8.323 equal to 12.8 meters per second. The velocity of the air in the pipeline is 12.8 meters per second. Next question from gate 2012 question paper. A large tank with a nozzle attached contains three immiscible inviscid fluid as shown. These are all the three fluids of head H1, density rho1, 
ஹெட் ஹெச் டூ டென்சிட்டி ரோ டூ ஹெட் ஹெச் த்ரீ டென்சிட்டி ரோ த்ரீ அண்ட் பி அட்மாஸ்பியர் இஸ் ஆக்டிங் ஹியர் சோ இஸ் அ நாசல் தி எக்ஸிட் ஆஃப் நாசல் இஸ் ஆல்சோ அட்மாஸ்பியர் அசூமிங் தட் தி சேஞ்சஸ் இன் H1, H2 and H3 are negligible. The instantaneous discharge velocity, so here the velocity equal to is given by this equation, any one of the equation. So the correct option is option A, square root of velocity in the section 2, outlet of the nozzle, square root of 2G H3 into 1 plus rho 1 H1 by rho 3 H3 plus rho 2 H2 divided by rho 3 H3. We will see how in the next slide. So, at the point 1, so here, point 1, the total pressure, vertical pressure equal to the pressure, atmospheric pressure, pressure due to the H1, pressure due to the H2, pressure due to the H3. So, P atmosphere plus rho 1 G H1 plus rho 2 G H2 plus rho 3 G H3. So, this is the section 1, 2, horizontal section, Bernoulli's equation, applying the Bernoulli's equation between the point 1 and point 2. So, P1 pressure here divided by rho 3 into g. Rho 3 is the fluid here, density of the fluid here into g plus v1 square by 2g plus z1 equal to p2 by rho 3g because rho 3 is discharging plus v2 square by 2g plus z2. So, this is horizontal. 1 and 2, they are horizontal. z1 equal to z2 that is getting neglected. Now, substituting for p1. From here, substituting for p1, p atmosphere plus rho 1g h1 plus rho 2g h2 plus rho 3g h3 divided by rho 3g equal to pressure p velocity v1 here it is 0 by 2g plus p atmosphere here p atmosphere by rho 3g plus v2 square by 2g. So, simplify rearranging p atmosphere by rho 3g plus rho 1. So, the entire term rho 1g h1 plus rho 2g h2 plus rho 3g h3 plus rho 3g equal to p atmosphere rho 3g plus v2 square by 2g. So, p atmosphere rho 3g p atmosphere rho 3g that is getting cancelled. So, these two terms are getting cancelled. Finally, V2 equal to square root of 2G into rho 1G H1 plus rho 2G H2 plus rho 3G H3 will be rho 3G. Simplifying, taking H3 outside. So, this will be 2G H3 into rho 1 H1 by rho 3G H3 plus rho 2 H2 plus rho 3 H3. Rho 3 H3 by rho 3 H3 equal to 1. Now, this is also, we rearrange V2 equal to 2G H3 into 1 plus rho 1 H1 plus rho 3 H3 plus rho 2 H2 by rho 3 H3. That is the answer to the question. Next question from 2013 question paper. Water is coming out from a tap and falls vertically downward. At the tap opening, the steam diameter is 20 millimeter with a uniform velocity of 2 meters per second. The acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square. Assuming steady, inviscid flow, constant atmospheric pressure everywhere and neglecting the curvature and surface tension effect, the diameter of the steam 0.5 meter below the tap is approximately. So, we have four options. The correct option is 15 millimeter. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, this is the tap. So, diameter D1 equal to 0 0.02 meter. Velocity here is 2 meters per second. G, acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square. The head is 0.5 meter. So, applying the Bernoulli's equation between 1 and 2, P1 by W rho G plus V1 square by 2G plus Z1 equal to P2 by rho G, specific weight rho G plus V2 square by 2G plus Z2. So, the substituting the values, rearranging V1 square, P1, P1 by Specific weight, P2 by specific weight, they are constant. So, V2 square by 2G equal to V1 square by 2G plus Z1 minus Z2. Z1 minus Z2 equal to H. So, V1 square by 2G plus H. So, V2 equal to square root of V1 square plus 2G H. Substituting square root of 2 square plus 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.5 equal to 3.76 meters per second. Velocity at the outlet. Now, from the continuity equation, pi by 4 d1 square into v1 equal to pi by 4 d2 square into v2, a1 v1 equal to a2 v2, substituting pi by 4 0 0.02 square into 2 equal to pi by 4 d2 square into 3.716. So, solving the equation d2 equal to 0 0.0147 meter which is 14.7 millimeter or approximately 15 millimeter. That is the answer to the question. 
Next question from 2014 question paper. An ideal water jet with a volume flow rate of 0.05 meter cube per second strikes a flat plate placed normal to its path except a force of 1000 Newton. Considering density of water equal to 1000 kg per meter cube, diameter of the water jet is in millimeter. So, we have to calculate the answer. F equal to rho a v square equal to rho a into v square equal to q by a whole square, discharge by area whole square. So, simplifying rho q square by a. Substituting F equal to 1000, density equal to 1000, q square equal to 0 0.05 square divided by pi by 4 d square. So, solving this equation, d equal to 0 0.564 meter, which is, which is 56.4 millimeter. So, the answer here is 56.4 millimeter. The diameter of the water jet equal to 56.4 millimeter. Next question from 2006 question paper. A chiffon draws water from a reservoir and discharges it, discharges out to out at atmospheric pressure. A chiffon draws water from a reservoir and discharges it out at the atmospheric pressure. Assuming ideal fluid and reservoir is large, the velocity at the point P, velocity at the point P in the chiffon tube is, so here what is the velocity? So this is the head of tank with the water, H1 is the head, H1 is the head here. H2, this is the discharge end, this, this H2, H2 is the height of water and the P is the point here on the chiffon. What is the velocity of the water at the chiffon? So, the velocity here among the four options, the correct answer is option C, square root of 2G into H2 minus H1. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, for constant diameter pipe through a chiffon, the kinetic energy equal to potential energy at this point. At the point P, the kinetic energy is equal to potential energy. Kinetic energy equal to half mb square and the potential energy equal to mg into h2 minus h1. So, this is the h2 from the discharge end to the chiffon and this is water line to the chiffon. So, h2 minus h1, m is getting cancelled. So, v equal to square root of 2g into h2 minus h1. That is the answer to the question. Velocity of the water in the chiffon point P is square root of 2g into h2 minus h1. We stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering. Uh, you may find the fluid mechanics book. You can refer to the book for theoretical part of the fluid, fluid dynamics. I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments. We will meet again in another video lecture for the solution in the gate question paper in the topic fluid dynamics. Until then, bye.